Hey, great morning, Dr. Sean J. Harris here at Generational Wealth Academy. Great morning to everybody. Listen, my question for you today is how many utensils do you have? So what do I mean by that? Well, to eat a salad, a fork is required. To eat a bowl of ice cream, well, a spoon is required. To use butter, a knife is required. So when you come to the dinner table to prepare yourself for a meal, you need all the proper utensils to have an effective meal. So the same holds true with money. I hope you look at your money the same way. How many different utensils are you using to acquire or capture money? There's so many different ways to create income. And as many of you have heard or have read that as millionaires, we tend to have at least five, but more so seven different types of income. So these are some of the questions we have to ask ourselves. How many sources of income do you have? So I have a, a best selling book is uh, one of them right behind me. Um, just in case money, I talk about having a spare income. So if you were to have a financial blowout, do you have a spare income that could help you if you were X'd out of the equation or something limited your ability to create income by ceasing your physical ability to perform do you still have sources or streams of income so i want to go through some of the different types of incomes to start thinking about and we'll start with number one because this is the type of income most people have which is called earned income now keep in mind earned income is the worst income you can have it's kind of like a double-edged sword you kind of got to have it. And that's the type of income we get from a job. And the job is typically our number one capital investor when we're looking to start a company or start a business venture of our own. However, the other side of that sword that makes it the worst type of income is the highest taxed income. See, wealth is built by understanding the tax code because taxes were not written for employees. They were written for business owners. So. It's an evil necessary that we have to have the earned income, but we have to figure out a way that we can create other types of income outside of the earned income so that we can take tax, uh, take advantages of tax breaks. So the second type of income we're going to talk about is capital gains. Capital gains is uh, earned typically through real estate holdings, um, and that is a great form of uh, income source. Another one to talk about is investment income many times we've all been taught you got to invest you got to invest in the market well a lot of people may not be too savvy when it comes to investing but you still have to figure out how to invest because that's going to be great long-term money a lot of investments that we have today i don't focus on the rewards for me but it's more so for my kids and my grandkids so there's different tools that you use in uh investing in that manner uh, if it's a stock market many people feel that they can't invest or they don't have enough money to invest or they can't afford to buy um stocks in big companies but there's things where you can go and get fractional uh stocks as well so that's something to look into uh next another form of income we'll talk about is dividend income Again, that is typically through investing uh, through the stock market or through different companies that you may have partnered with or invested with. So the same thing with the uh, interest investment. That's what I want to talk about as well. There's interest that you develop. So let's say if you have private family banking, I talk about private family banking quite a bit, but that is a way where you get to leverage the interest that you're going to pay to a bank anyway. So when you own your own banking system through private family banking, or you may hear it referred to as infinite banking. Now you redirect all the interest that you were paying for a home, for a college or for a vehicle or anything like that. You're able to redirect that back and build your family wealth because that's all the banks are doing. They're just taking your interest and building wealth by uh, build, building that tenfold. So that's something you have to really focus on. Another type of income is going to be rental uh, income. So if you guys have different rental properties, event spaces, buildings that you lease out to other companies or corporations, that's another great form of income that uh, can become passive if you have it structured and set up properly. Uh, the, the next type of income is, is regular business income. So if you have a business in conjunction with what you're already doing, that's a great source of income because again, unlike earned income, this is the best situation you could be in tax structure. Because when you own a business, you're taxed quite differently. So let me give you one example. 
if you're an employee and you make hundred thousand dollars a year well you're taxed up front they get their 37 to 40 percent right up front so that's equivalent to going to work january the first and working all the way to may the first absolutely free and then you don't start getting a paycheck until may the first that's the equivalence of how hard the nine to fiver is taxed but on the converse if you're a business owner and you made hundred thousand dollars this year let's say you need new equipment you need a new company vehicle and let's suppose you only had twenty five thousand dollars left over at the end of the year well as a business owner you're taxed on what's left over so you would only be taxed on the 25k so you see the difference both scenarios made hundred thousand dollars but who kept the most money is who won the game and that'll be the business owner so that's why business income is valuable to you as far as it comes as it relates to being able to build um, generational wealth and the last type of income is royalty income royalty income comes from things such as IP or intellectual property I am a 39 time author these are some of my books here on the shelf behind me I've written 39 books and they continuously sell but here's the cool thing I wrote each book only one time, but it continues to matriculate and sell over and over and over again, which builds residual income. You may get a book deal. That's going to be another residual income. You may have art form or you may have literature. You may have music or anything like that that creates intellectual property or IP can and then afford you to be able to create royalty income. So, guys, hopefully you're operating your financial table with multiple different utensils. All right, guys, I hope that made major impact with you. I'm Dr. Sean J. Harris. Make impact and make money while you're doing it.